Entertainment is anything that gives us enjoyment. Almost all of us need some sort of entertainment, be it watching a movie, enjoying some good music, listening and laughing to some comedy, reading a novel, window shopping, chilling out with friends, or why not surfing the internet? You know, many of us are the Android generation, partying with friends, and the list continues, and so on and so on. Entertainment is a must for all. It helps us to overcome boredom and gives a fresh start to life. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, greetings to you all and thanks for joining us on the first ever edition of The Real Talk Show. Yes, The Real Talk Show is an entertainment show which comes up every Monday's live as from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. and a rebroadcast every Friday as from 9.30 a.m. We are here to discuss about the good, the bad and the ugly sides of the entertainment industry. Regarding the present political situation in our country, we are going to look at how the political situation has affected the entertainment industry in particular. We have lots and lots and lots of packages for you televiewers and you won't want to miss out on each and every bite of this your favorite program. It's the Real Talk Show and for presentation I am Ikomi Christine Nuela Eposi. Yes, the host with the longest name, that is my name and I shall be taking you throughout the show. It's the Real Talk Show only on CMTV where entertainment is never enough. Let's take on a little break and when we come back we continue with the program. Stay tuned. You're welcome back televiewers. If you're just joining us, this is CMTV and this is the first live ever edition of The Real Talk Show. The Real Talk Show is an entertainment show where we shall be talking to the kings, the queens, the dons of the entertainment industry here in Cameroon. Not America, not the UK, right here in Khmer. It's all about Khmer Team 237. All right, this show is going to be an interactive show where you shall be giving us your contributions. You shall be participating in the show through a number that will be displayed on your TV screens anytime from now. We have lots and lots of packages for you. It's an open panel discussion, okay? We have, as I said earlier, we have kings and queens of the entertainment industry with us here in the studio. And our wise saying, we're going to have a wise saying on each edition of this program. That That's just a little of what we have in store for you. We're going to have a wise saying and we're going to have a question, a general question where you, the televiewers, be given the opportunity to answer, to reply, and why not contribute or ask any question to our members of the panel, all right? That's just what the Real Talk Show is all about. But for today, our main focus is going to be on how the present political situation in the country has affected the entertainment industry in one way or another. Obviously, we know there must have been some hitches here and there. So that is what we are out to gather on this first ever edition of the Real Talk Show. No time to waste. It's high time I introduce my panelists on, on the uh, studio today. And the adage goes, should I call it an adage? Uh, ladies before gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Ladies before gentlemen. So I shall begin with the only lady in the house today. She is a Cameroonian Afro-pop musician. She attended the St. Augustine's College in Seoul. She is a graduate with a bachelor's degree in law and she is nicknamed Bell Dam. Mm -hmm. She is no other than Queen Billy herself. Join me, welcome oh. Mel B. Aquen. Happy Ghost Town, yo. Oh. Happy Ghost Town. Going down tonight, like real talk going down. It's your girl Mel B. Aquen and it's you're welcome, Melvi. Thank you. Belle Dam. I know, right? So, le man, so le man, tu es très belle aujourd'hui. I know. Thank you. Know, you. Like, it, guys, you guys are not going to see the hair today, yeah. but... I'm still free. Nah, obviously you are. <laughs> Let's borrow a little bit of the Republic, La Republic kind of star. <laughs> All right. Okay, so how do you feel being here today on the first ever edition of the Real Talk Show on CMTV, where we shall be talking yeah. about the good, mm -hmm. the bad, the I ugly, know. the nice sides of the entertainment mm -hmm. industry in Cameroon? Actually, I'm so honored. And like every time CMTV calls me, I'm so honored. I don't know. I don't know if you guys just like the accent or what, but 
the time that I'm pigeon today, like serious pigeon, but I'm so honored. Thank you. Of course, that's why it's called the real talk show because mm -hmm. we are down to it. We are like plain. Down, down, we bring down, out man. everything crystal mm -hmm. clear. Pigeon. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, tell everyone that was Mel B. Aquen, very interesting and beautiful too. And right next to me, no, right next to me, um, he's an English entertainer, a digital media specialist, a writer, Ooh. an artist, a critic. A filmmaker, a blogger, and a big entrepreneur. With a bachelor's degree from political science in the University of Boya, he's from Mundemba. He's a lover of soccer and nicknamed as Valdez Lebo. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce you the funniest English comedian in town, Ngwane Hansel Masango. Hello, Hansel. Hello. Uh... <laughs> Right on, right on, uh, and she'd call my name. I thought you were introducing someone else because <laughs> that was just so much for me, and I'm so happy to be here. And uh, like you said, uh, it's we are talking about an issue that con concerns the core essence of our profession, and something that we really need to sort out if we have to move forward in in, in the entertainment in the industry. industry. Okay. okay, please tell us before I continue. Tell us a little bit about Le Beau. Oh, Lobo. I, I suppose it means handsome, right? Yeah, Lobo Le, Le is a name I got uh, in high school by some high school girls, which meant I, I was cute. Uh, but but I, I was so mad because they nicknamed my own friend uh, Giacomone, which means he was rich. So I knew, something, I, I knew something was wrong somewhere. <laughs> Like, you, you, they're just going to say, fine boy, no money. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so very much, Hansel. We are pleased to have you with us today. Thank and uh, finally, the other very handsome gentleman just next to Mel B. Yeah. He is from the Bamen, the Fashion Week. He is a co-founder and a chief administrative officer in Cameroon here. And he shall be focusing on the upcoming Bamen, the Fashion Week to take place on the 21st of January 2017 at the Bamen, the Congress Hall. He is none other than Mr. Bans Fombang Freeman. Mr. Freeman. Yeah. So how free are you today? Um, so free. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining us. The pleasure is You're here to represent the Bamenda Fashion, fashion Week. Yes, right. All right. Thank you so, so very much for that. Ladies and gentlemen, those are members of the panel today. We've ha we have the beautiful Melby. We've had the English entertainer, Hansel Ngwane. And why not Mr. Freeman? I love calling him Mr. Freeman. <laughs> it's still the real talk show live on CMTV where entertainment is never enough. It's a new show and this is the first ever edition. We shall be talking about the good, the bad, the ugly side of the the entertainment industry we shall be looking at the recent political crisis in the country that's the ongoing strike and the ghost town stuff and how it has affected the entertainment industry in Cameroon and remember I told you at the start of the show that at each edition of the show we shall have our question of the day as well as our wise words okay so let's take an equation of the day and you are equally having the chance you equally have the chance tell of you us to take part okay you have the chance to answer the question to contribute with the numbers that will be displayed on your that are on your screen already you can contribute by asking the questions to any member of our panel and why not answer the question at hand and the question for today is uh, in your own points of view how has the present political crisis in the country affected the entertainment industry and what do you think is the way forward i take it again in your own point of view how has the present political crisis of the country affected the entertainment industry and what do you think can be the way forward and our wise saying for today i told you we have lots of packages for you our wise saying for today is when the power of love overcomes the love of power the world will know peace when the power of love overcomes the love of power, the world will know peace. I can see my members of the panel <laughs> nodding their heads already. <laughs> so you obviously know what I mean by that. <laughs> Our lines are open. The numbers are on your screen. Start participating. Start contributing. We need your participation in this program because we are here because of you. We are here to discuss with you. We need you to participate fully in the course of the Real Talk Show. It's an entertainment show. It's going to be very interesting. Mind you, you won't want to miss out. So just take your seat, okay? Have a glass of something by your side. Hansel, let me come to you, Hansel. I forgot. I forgot asking you. What about your cup? You know, the, the Illuminati Hansel cup. I didn't see you. It's there. Uh, 
I, I actually my mug is respecting the ghost town. Okay, oh, wow. all right, interesting, <laughs> interesting. All right, so everyone, that was it for the intro of this program. Let's take again on a little break, and when we come back, we dive straight away into our discussions for today. Stay tuned. And go Entertainment has gone beyond the borders of just playing music, movies, or programs. But it all involves getting the viewers involved in the program, directly or indirectly. Here on CMTV, we try our very best to take you right into the program. CMTV. Entertainment is never enough. Stay tuned to CMTV. Entertainment is never enough. In your own opinion, in your own points of view, how has the present political crisis in the country affected the entertainment industry and what do you think is the way forward for us? Be it Republican, be it Ambazonians, for us. In your own point of view, how has the present political crisis in the country affected the entertainment industry and what do you think is the way forward for the entertainment industry in particular and Cameroon in general? And our wise saying for today is, when the power of love overcomes the love of power, the world will know peace. You can reach us through the numbers on your screen for your contributions and participations. Only text messages, please. We don't receive any calls, okay? So start sending your text messages, those lovely and wonderful text messages immediately because time waits for nobody. You know that, right? Okay? And uh, you can equally text us. You can equally call us through the number that is for sponsorship if you want to be part of the sponsorship for this very amazing program. It's the Real Talk Show, a new entertainment live on cmtv where entertainment is never enough we shall be talking about the good the bad the ugly the nice the smiling the bitter part <laughs> of the entertainment industry here in kame okay it's all about two three seven and it's a live show which goes on every mondays from 5 p.m to 7 p.m and why not rebroadcast for those who missed out on it every fridays at 9 30 a.m all right no time to waste tell everyone let's dive away into the business of the day then uh, we shall begin with uh mr freeman you know he's a free man so you obviously <laughs> want to give some free man talk uh, mr bands from bang freeman i'm going to begin with you um so Tell us a little bit about, about yourself. Who is Mr. Bans Fombang Freeman? Okay. Um, my real names are Fombang Bans. Okay. Bans Freeman, the Freeman name came as a result of my freedom, just like you said. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, um, I'm a graduate from the University of Yaoundé One. I studied performing arts and cinematography. Wow. And um, I founded Olympian House International, which is. Um, uh, like the co-founder of the Bermuda Fashion Week together with uh, Miss Africa Texas and an African pageant in the US that is aimed at promoting uh, the African our Africanness internationally okay. so uh, I think basically that's me that's just all I about guess so. Okay, before now, I heard the Bamenda Fashion Week was supposed to hold long ago before now. Oh, yeah. So, what actually happened? Why okay. is it going to happen <laughs> just on the 21st of January? What was the reason for the delay? Okay, this question fits in with our topic of discussion. Exactly. It's, it's actually because of uh, what's happening in the nation now that we had to move the event forward. My partner had to leave from the US and she was in Cameroon. But looking at what was going on and People were so scared to come to Bamenda in particular. Everybody was like, ah, we we'll just die, we can't come. With all of what was going on on Facebook, WhatsApp groups. So a lot of people were, were really scared. So um, though we, we wanted to entertain the, the people, but the, the wellness of the people was, was and is a priority to us. Okay. So we're like, uh, in the middle of all of that, uh, tomorrow we can go ahead with an entertainment event mm -hmm. we said okay let us pause this uh, and probably uh, we are looking forward to, to dialogue that would actually bring so, solutions. solutions. I'll, I'll come to that, Mr. Freeman. Yeah. Sorry, I really love the Freeman name. I'll just See, go I with the Freeman. Oh, all right. I mean, okay, before, before we come that. to details, 
what is the Bamin the Fashion Week all about? Because we have been talking about that. Many people even know what oh, Bamin the Fashion okay. Week is. Okay, the Bamin the Fashion Week is a professional international platform okay. created to valorize uh, our home fashion industry nationally and internationally. One of the strengths of strengths of the Bamin the Fashion Week is. Um, uh, the perspective from which it is branded is branded in such a way that anybody who sees what happens on the Bamboo Fashion Week platform has no bias to say, Oh, this is a Moronian, okay, let me just support my brother. No, you're not just supporting your brothers, you see what is good, and you feel like I can spend money for this. So, well, one of our motivations, me, me and my partner, was um, we're like. It's not like Cameroon doesn't have amazing talents. Cameroon has awesome talents. They are so creative. But some of them, or most of them, lack a professional platform on, on which the world can see them and ap appreciate their art. So um, that was what motivated us to, to create this platform. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so very much, Mr. Freeman. And I'll come back to you. Let me go to the very pretty lady, Mel B. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe um, you have a familiar face in the house, but yes, obviously yes. there are some televiewers out there. You yeah. really want to know a little bit more about mm -hmm. Melby. So tell us a little bit more about Melby okay. and how the music, or oh, everything about the music started. journey all started. Yes. Okay, okay, I'm a strong woman here. Always, yeah. <laughs> Bamenda, Bamenda, chick in the building. <laughs> so Melby, my real name is Afoncho Margaret Aquen. So I decided to use the name Aquen and Mel V stands for uh, Melody from Boya, Melody from Bamenda, any B, uh, any B that I can think. Definitely. And started music like way back, but professionally now it's been like five years. Yeah, five years now and did start the Mel. In fact, just a lot of things have happened. And I've been nominated for the Canal Door, y'all. <laughs> So it's amazing, it's amazing, like that's just how the dream started. I went for Star the Man, that's when late Tom Yums was still alive, mm -hmm. like yeah, so um, I took part in that. I've done so many things in the music industry, been on stage with Flavor, Jackie Apia, so many great people. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay, so as an entertainer, obviously mm -hmm. you have, uh, how can you define your success so far? I want to relate this to your recent release, yes. Blessings, mm -hmm. with Longe Longe. Yes. I must admit, it's so very lovely. Thank you. And Dope mm -hmm. too. <laughs> All right. Thank you. So tell us, how can you define your success at this level? How can you assess your achievements so far? Are people are slow. Like, I can tell you sincerely, right? I, if somebody would have told me I would be where I am today, I would have told you, no, I should be with Beyonce or um, bigger stars by now, you know. But I'll tell you one thing, when you trust in God and you're moving with God, it's freaking slow. But if you believe in him, you keep going that way and you realize you're calm. You're always calm and you're, 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 you're content with what you get, you know. But I can tell you, so far, I'm so grateful for where I am today because I've been there like forever. Since 2008, it pained me. I've had Nayu, I've had Chakara, I've had Super, so many songs. People have come, other musicians have come and gone. Like Hansel can testify. We've been here like forever. You understand? That, um, comedians who have come and gone as well. So I can tell you definitely I'm so happy for where I am today. It's been slow, but I know so many big things are coming, you know, like Nominated for Canal Door is like living from the bottom to the top. Like Canal Door is big deal in Cameroon, you know. So to be nominated that way, I'll tell you God is God is big and definitely yeah. Big. And having a collaboration with Longe Longe Blessings, I released that on the first. So it's just like thanking God for every little thing and every big thing that He has done for me. Okay. Yeah. And every other person when you sing I'm a just sing about yourself, you know, any big thing small to you don't. Know? Thank you, Belby, <laughs> thank you. Bear <laughs> down. All right, and now let's come to Le Bo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Bar -less. laughs> All right, he is uh um, Ngwane Hansel, the funniest comedian in town. Hansel, right. once again you're welcome on <clears throat> Thank you very much. You feel being here, it's the first edition ever of the real on cmtv Live. i'm so honored to be here and uh, to be thought of as one of our uh, contributors to the program and uh for me as well as meeting other uh, incredible young people who are in the business okay so hansel briefly tell us about the journey of com comedy so far in your life how did it all start because 
I know significant changes have taken place. So tell us briefly about the journey of comedy and entertainment in general. Actually, I started comedy in 2007. And the first time I climbed on stage was on high school, uh, open door day, or PTA day. And yes, by then you were 10. <laughs> that was long before we started dating. Now, <laughs> now um, uh, comedy was uh, something I had taken uh, as a, a, a part time, but I had to professionalize my passion. So after my first degree in political science from the University of Boya, I uh, had run a show on a popular TV channel, uh, the, uh, the Hansel Show. And it was, it was fairly, fairly big. And then I left to pursue my master's degree in digital media and communication. So when I was done with that, I created Hansel Media, which is an online, uh, online is an organization that promotes constructive use of online media and online communication. Mm -hmm. And then I recently, in September last year, started with the Hansel Show again, which is more of a news report show, but done in a, uh, in a comedy, sarcastic manner. Uh, comedy in Cameroon has been uh, progressing, but in two diverse ways. We've had the rudimentary form of comedy, and we have, we've had the intellectual form of comedy, which I'm trying to, to, to champion. And it's because people are evolving, you evolve. And the way, the jokes that you thought of two years ago aren't the same jokes you might laugh about now. Sure. Yeah, so people's minds are... And, and Mel B and, and my friend, Mr. Freeman, have said some important things here. And I've been with Mel B, I've been in one of her videos. <laughs> now, yes, I've been in one now of her you. videos, now you. And, and that was in 2014. Okay. Yeah. And there's one thing I realized, do not strive to go viral. Don't go viral, go higher. Yeah. Because anything that goes viral, viral drops viral. Okay. That is how it is. So the they, they, faster you climb, the faster you fall. Take it at the gradual pace. Thank you so very much, Hansel Mwane. What about your last name, Masango? Many people don't know about it. Why do you always... My first time hearing it. Many people okay. don't, okay. don't know about it. Yeah. Let's no, say it's the first time. Good. Good. Good, let's keep it that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Hansel. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're still here, if you're just joining us, it's the Real Talk Show live on CNTV, where entertainment is never, never enough. So far, so good. We have been talking with Mr. Freeman. We have been talking with a very pretty Mel B. And we have been talking with an English entertainer, Hansel Mwane. All right, so remember, our question for the day, in your own opinion or in your own point of view, how has the present political crisis in the country affected the entertainment industry? And what do you think is the way forward? In your own point of view, how has the present political crisis in the country affected the entertainment industry and what do you think is the way forward? Keep sending us your text messages, keep uh, participating in the show and contribute and be part of the Real Talk Show, the first ever edition of the Real Talk Show live on CMTV. And remember, our wise thing for today is when the power of love overcomes the love of power, the world will know peace. Regarding the present political unrest in our country, those who are wise will know, that, know what I'm talking about. When the power of love overcomes the love of power, the world will know peace. And the numbers on your screen, start sending us your messages, start replying to the question of the day and contribute and why not participate in today's edition of The Real Talk Show. It comes up every Monday from 5 to 7 p.m. and rebroadcast every Fridays at 9 30 a.m. Let me come back to you, Mr. Freeman. We're still talking about the Bamenda Fashion Week. So, what have been the activities so far in preparations for this grand event? Okay. Um, the Bamenda Fashion Week has come a long way. It's been on for like, the, I mean, the campaign uh, or the build up to the event has been running for close to six months now. And a lot has happened within those six months. Um, besides the online campaigns and the media we had to do an uh, uh, a model auditioning which um, we did in Bermenda, one in Bermenda and one here in Boya and in Bermenda we had over 50 something models for which we had to select just about 15 of them and in Boya we had over 60 something models and we still had to select 15 so at, at the end of the day we had about 30 models All right. Out of out of a hundred and something. Okay, let me bring you now to our question of today. Okay. 
the political, the present political crisis in the country. Obviously, it has affected that industry in some way, right? And now that you guys are preparing for this grand event, how has this present crisis affected your preparations? Well, I would say it has affected our preparations to some extent because sometimes um, you you really want to go all out, like, hey, this is what is happening, this is this is. But you 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 analyze the political situation and you're like, okay. Um, I can't say this now because these guys have another priority at the moment. So I have to shut up and wait for this to go by before I can talk. Okay. So we just try to work with the flow. Like, okay, now it's a little calm. Boom. We drop in something. Okay, it's, it's, it's getting worse. So. 21st January is not from now. That's right. The strike, the, the ghost and the strike is still going <laughs> on. So what is the guarantee that this show is going to go on smoothly and successfully without any disturbance from the ongoing strike? Okay. Um, one thing every uh, Cameroonian or, or uh, every Northwesterner or Southwesterner would agree with us is um, we always made this event about the people. It, it really wasn't an, an uh, individualistic thing like, oh, it, it's Freeman's thing that he's trying to run and make his, his, his money and all of that. We, we, we try to communicate to everybody that what we are creating is not just an event. It's a platform that will serve as a ground uh, to better the lives of a lot of people in, in the industry besides just us. So ev uh, everybody sees it like something we are building together. And we understand the pain and we always try to, to fit in and work in solidarity with the people. So I think we don't really have a lot of trouble for the 21st. Okay, we hope so and we pray everything turns out. So That's right. All That's right, right, let me come to you, Hansel. You mentioned earlier that the entertainment industry has a lot of problems. Obviously, every <coughs> industry. So now looking at the present political crisis, Let's, let's get the question to you. Looking at the present political cri uh, cri crisis affecting our country, how has this affected the comedy industry? Because you're part of the entertainment industry, but specifically a comedian. So how has this crisis affected your comedy industry so far? Uh, as a general entertainer, not just only comedy, because I've done music and movies too, it is uh, really bad. But as a comedian itself, I have that sadistic pleasure in when things go wrong because <laughs> that is <laughs> that it, it, it is it is not a good pleasure, but it is that light happiness. Like yes, things are going wrong. I have material now. <laughs> yeah, it's the same. It's the same I felt for Trevor Noah when Trump won. Um, he was like, okay, now I have material for the next four years. <laughs> that is it. So um, it, it has affected my comedy in a, uh, um, both positively and negatively because when these things happen, they divert people's attention. Mm -hmm. The attention is... And when you come with your own thing, they see it as you're just trying to gain popularity yeah, from, from, yeah, yes, right. from their pain. Yeah. That is from their pain. That is it. And, and when you come up with something that is not politically related, you're like, I don't know. What they want us to do, us in the sense, is they want us to stand in front of the camera exactly. and make a stand. Yeah. Like, you know, the, we support this, I will support that, and stuff like, stuff like this, which uh, it is, that's left for every entertainer and the house they represent, the record labels or exactly. companies they represent. You cannot force people to go against, against that because that's your profession. Mm -hmm. Now, I... Uh, Still on that, I don't see why people will force entertainers to come in front and, and say something because they are just one people, they are just, I don't know, I don't know, lawyers, uh, doctors have not stood up and said anything. Oh, uh, good. No, no, I'm saying they have not stood up up, to, up until oh, now. Right, yeah. yeah, store owners haven't uh, done it. So I don't know why you should use entertainers as scapegoat. The belief, the belief that you people have more from, yeah. Yeah. So okay. you can spread the message through yes, okay. what you There's do. a difference between being an entertainer and a celebrity. Well, the core essence of being a celebrity is <laughs> that you can impact change in any sphere of life. Mm -hmm. They are entertainers in camera in, in US who are celebrities because they can stand and influence the choice of the people. Mm -hmm. For example, when Obama was being elected. Mm -hmm. But I don't think we have reached that status that we can impact opinions. Because right now we still have little factions here and there. We have not still come together as a people. You think so? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think so. Doing that I think 
people are the four I think should, no matter what, what uh, not to really disrespect no, you, it's but okay. I think um, as a musician such as myself, there are people who really look up to me, you understand? So, and you as well, you have your mug already, people are looking up to, are uh, like, cancel the mug, cancel oh, the, the mug. The, the mug is more popular think, than myself. Yeah, so I think that, that maybe, yeah, you, you know, so the there are people who look up to me. Yeah. And to other artists, okay, take for example, there's local, there is Malox, there is um, um, some other, art, other artists, right? Yeah. So now these artists have followers and they have fans, yeah. even if they're just one million people, but 100 in them who really believe in this artist. So it doesn't matter if you're short. See, people they, 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 they disrespect you, know, they ever look like they plenty past people they, they like you, you understand? Why they talk, where they respect you. So for me, he said, me, I think talks on see me people they they been a my fan them. They go follow and they go do to I talk. You know, yet to I talk handsel. That one hundred of people they know they counts because that one hundred people them they go relay and the way they will take a relay and all. Nobody say we talk them. You understand? Nobody no, say we. No, okay. <laughs> 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 like, you know, I, 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 I understand. But but it's, it's a collective say, effort. Yeah. Yes. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's a collective. It's not one person. Yeah. Exactly. That okay. is my my exactly. Yes. Right. Yeah. Maybe from what you've explained, I can see you you're taking sides here. Mm. About about wanting to fight for what the people want. So so far, re- no. Let let let. <laughs> Jay, <I'm laughs> right Are you anyway, kidding? Anyway, let's, let's relate this now yeah. to your music as a career. Yes. What have you done so far regarding the political unrest in the country to show that you actually yeah. feel what your fans out there or what the people out there are going through and want to reflect that through the yeah. music you do? Okay, I'll tell you something. Right. Just like what um, Hansel said, Hansel said it's not just one person to do it. Even when Melvi, even when I put out a statement, right, it sounded like nobody has done so. You see other people online, you see the smart dress saying insulting or Valeria Tia insulting. Oh, artists aren't talking. Mm-hmm. But Melvi did talk. Or Salatiel did talk, Hansel did talk, some other artists did talk. But the fact that they are just few, okay. now it sounds like they didn't and do I it. I think maybe it's also because, okay, for instance, yeah. musicians, maybe you've not done something like a song or a track to reflect. That doesn't even matter. Like, just words is enough. I don't need to sing a whole song. Right? <laughs> for she don't write song, my easy thing. Like, seriously, you have to be really ready for it. There are some artists who are actually doing it right now. You have Ivor Williams, who is doing such kind of music yeah. you know i'm all about the love but if i can talk about i actually put out statements if i see anywhere uh, you have k9 you have hansel you have other people who talk about it i can comment i comment but there's one thing artists musicians are under record labels there are even some record labels that have signed anglophone artists and the record labels are french francophones so imagine these guys are all about their business they don't care about whatever you guys are doing here they just want their exactly. money exactly. you see a person like magasco go to the um unity palace and do his his performance you yeah. understand yeah. he does his performance and people are angry but he's respecting his record label and his contract, so, and his contract yeah. you understand so you can't really expect an artist to blow it out of proportion okay. like Money will finish. Huh. Money will finish. <laughs> Thank you so very much, Mel B. It's getting really tough here in the studio. So why not send us your lovely text messages? Why not contribute in this program? It's just the beginning, okay? We have not even started yet because the discussion has just <laughs> has not even started. It's the Real Talk Show, the Real Talk Show, an entertainment show on CMTV, which we bring to you the good, the bad, the ugly side of the entertainment industry. We're talking with the kings and the queens. We're talking with the dons, okay, of the entertainment industry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go on a little break and when we come back, we continue with the program. Stay tuned. In a world where everything has its price. No matter how costly, the price of life may be. Someone, somewhere, somehow. Needs to pay. The question is who owes the price? And to whom it is to be paid. CMTV is not just there to pay the price. Or informing, educating, and entertaining you without bias or racial or tribal differences. But we are there to bring the TV to you at your disposal with one, two, three tones of hyper entertainment. And making you part of our TV. So join us every day in our jet of infotainment. Our cameras are everywhere. Without fear of intimidation and generosity. And with our bodies of reporters ready to take it online without any iota of bias. With CMT. Entertainment is never enough.
Entertainment has gone beyond the borders of just playing music, movies, or programs. But it all involves getting the viewers involved in the program, directly or indirectly. Here on CMTV, we try our very best to take you right into the program. CMTV, entertainment is never enough. The best actor, if you are not Hala Yamata. My people, oh, I say Hala Yamata. You get an occasion, you don't know how to do one. Then, find the one for CMTV. Now, your bed day, your picking loss, you wake up for money time, you don't see a house or place where they No worry. They go show them for Hala Yamata. Lost ID, plus property, missing wife, or you get a business story. Hala Yamata, not the best. Then you go join. Samuel Wazizi every day now for 9 a.m. and for 9 p.m. Eko Halaya Mata make man no loss. I say make man no loss. Join we CMTV Mata in the finish. Think Fashion Entertainment and the city of Bamenda rolled into one. It's that time of the year. It's the official launch of the Bamenda Fashion Week. A frenzy of activities from exclusive red carpet moments to unique runway showcase from some of Africa's finest and upcoming designers. The Bamenda Fashion Show cast 15 top fashion designers, including big names, Nuvi Creative, Boo Boy, Samba Dior, Hima T. Jacino, Jamelo Ausman, Renetta Nzang, Kamara Ibrahima, and the list goes on. Every bit of the show will be covered. And yes, we are going to stream every second of the fun live on the Bamenda Fashion Week YouTube channel from the red carpet down to the runway. Not forgetting the flashlights of outstanding photographers who will be displaying their paparazzi skills all the way. The Bamenda Fashion Week official launch, organized by the Miss Africa Texas pageant and the Olympian House International, is scheduled for January 21st, 2017 at the Bamenda Congress Hall. Red carpet moments, 5.30 p.m. Event proper, 7.30 p.m. Early bird tickets are fast selling. Visit us on www.bamendafashionweek.com to order your ticket options with amazing mouth-watering discounts and special treatment for early reservations. Or call 6640-43727, 6510-48525. Check us out as well on facebook.com forward slash Baminda Fashion Week to discover more. The Baminda Fashion Week. Live it, love it. Stay tuned to CMTV. Entertainment is never enough. Do not strive to go viral, rather strive to go higher. And remember, <laughs> statement going by the words of Ngwane Hansel. You're welcome back, Televi. You're welcome back, beautiful people. This is the real talk show on cmtv where entertainment is never enough and so far so good we have been talking with our guests today we have been talking with our members of the panel we have been looking at the question of the day which is uh, the pl present political crisis and how it has affected the entertainment industry though we have not gone detail yet because we still have lots for you they still have lots in store for you they just want you to keep on sending your messages keep on participating by dialing the numbers on your screens and uh, before the break we have been talking equally about the Bamenda fashion show okay that's equally very very important it's coming up on the 21st of this month that's January 2017 at the Bamenda Congress Hall it has 35 top models and 15 top designers am I right Mr. Freeman okay. so please just highlight our viewers once again who are some of the sponsors of this program oh, okay. um, we, we showcase from the IQ Plus Foundation. Yeah, the IQ Plus Foundation. The US, but they have a, a very opportunity for African entertainment, and okay. they are doing a lot to make this happen. We have a Blue Pearl Hotel. Mm -hmm. We we have a, a CMT. Mm -hmm. We have. Um, we have Dane Photography, Kinaka TV, um, oh my god. And the list goes on and on. And, on. and, and, and just recently, yeah. the like show. Yeah. <laughs> right I'm now. a witness.
right. Okay. Okay. Freeman. Um, during the adverts, I saw small children all shapes and sizes. Are there some criteria for the show? Oh. Or yes, what do people consider before taking people into the the show in general? Okay. Um. Actually. Um. No, uh, that like I'm not a, pro a, a professional on that. We have to get an entire team for the criteria okay. for which models go on and who goes on. I'm just there for the general stuff. Okay. But um, I guess we, our vision from day one was to get the very best and brand. So we tried our best to make sure we are getting those who are at their best talent wise for example for the designers we have 15 designers from four different african countries wow. cameroon nigeria senegal and equatorial guinea and all of them will be coming to bamenda on the 21st with amazing uh, outfits we so have are we all your equally invited or just your 30 i'm inviting myself please it will be an honor to have all of you all right oh, tell okay. everyone you've heard for yourselves it's <laughs> going to be a great honor to be part of the bamenda fashion we come 21 january 2017 at the Bamenda Congress Hall, beginning us from, from 7 5 30 pm. Well, okay, that's a red, red carpet, red carpet moment, and 7 30 is the, the event proper. Mm -hmm. event proper. Mm -hmm. Okay, where yeah. everything yeah. happens, yeah. the happening place. They can always check tickets on <laughs> www.bamendafashionweek.com slash okay. tickets, or they go to our Facebook page, Bamenda Fashion Week. Just but, type Bamenda but, Fashion but Week. It's not so expensive, you know. Now things are tight. Yeah. Goes down, goes so down. We are actually <laughs> running uh, a discount right now. We have slashed down prices by almost 30% what? just to make sure everybody can be on there. And so, we'll Melby, we have no reason to be here. We must go. I know, right? Like, <laughs> as soon as you need clothes, like, <laughs> like uh, the design, I know that we're crazy. Uh -huh. okay. okay, thank you so much, Mr. Thank Freeman. Um, tell you. viewers, before the break, some messages creeped into our studios, mm -hmm. and let's get some of them. This one says, my name is Rodrick. Greetings to you or greetings to you, Rodrick. In my own uh, in my own view, the crisis we are facing now hasn't affected the entertainment industry in any way. Wow. Okay. Wow. Even when before this started, the industry was still facing the problem it's facing now. Anyway, <laughs> my suggestion is the need entrepreneurs, <laughs> those who can support, especially financially, I mean, there are lots of talented people out there who need this opportunity or who need this support the industry needs. Technicians, equipment, etc. Et from Rodrigue. Rodrigue. Okay. Okay, Melby, I'll hand this over to you. Um, Rodrigue, I think he has a point on the fact that the, the industry, the entertainment industry has problems that it's still facing even now with the ghost town, right? Yeah. But there's one thing Rodrigue has to understand. No offense, but... The problem of technicians and entrepreneurs, I don't think that's what we're talking about right now, about the fact that uh, the ghost town or the strike is causing um, business people or financial support to artists. Mm -hmm. What I think is the main problem is when I'm here, I can say, uh, uh, what they call it, boycotts. Like, yeah. everything is being boycotted. Like, yes, I go for, um, I went for the AFCON, the launch of the AFCON with Longe Longe for Yaoundé, and People said the show had to be boycotted by um, Anglophones. But I went there because I was already on a contract. You understand? And that already, it sounded like, oh, Melby has a black leg, Mel Melby's a black leg, oh, Melby's not so bad. I think those are the main problems we're facing right now. If it's a problem of finance, yes, it's always been a problem. But I think what we're talking about right now is the fact of how the strike is has cost, affected. Has, it's affecting it right now. You understand? But um what's his name Rodrigo. Rodrigo. i'll tell you one thing here it's just a matter of working keep working and keep working and always praying to god trust me finance will come after this strike now if we win <laughs> everything will go well you understand? <laughs> all right thank you Bobby. and so um Rodrick still says according to him the need entrepreneurs yeah. those who can support especially financially if yeah. i must understand him well his main problem is that the only problem the entertainment industry in cameroon is facing is finance what can you say concerning this hansel every industry has a financial problem even the finance industry yeah. now <laughs> 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 so we need to understand the perspective but he he he, he has uh, the industry at heart yeah. and what he's trying to, to say is when this ghost town becomes rampant it affects people who have financial 
uh, contributions to make to the industry. I think that is that is is, is direction. And uh, yes, I, th I think that's direction. That, uh, but at the same time, he said he there's no he has not affected us. So uh, he's he's just like me in a way. Uh, sometimes I say things that. Uh, uh, that, that are two-sided. No, that are two-sided. Two but, 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 but here's the truth. Here's the yeah. truth. What he is trying to say is it has not affected us because we still have some underlying problems we need to trash out. Yeah. Okay. Irrespective of external constraints. Mm -hmm. okay. And one of them is the finances. So I think that's a call for, inter for, 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 for stakeholders who can come in and see what could be done to push this industry forward. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. you come. Obviously, yeah. and uh, the next message we have here says industries have low production due to the fact that some people are now unemployed and there is a high rate of unemployment. There are no people to buy their goods from a mill in Limbe. Okay, that she's talking about how the crisis has affected uh, the entertainment industry, and I yeah. think her main aim is on the fact that there are a lot of unemployed youths out there. Yeah. Mr. Freeman, can you chip in a little bit on this? Um. With respect to um, the strike and unemployment presently, <laughs> I can barely say um, this, this strike has caused our un unemployment. I, I don't think I would, I would agree with that, actually. It is true that it has, it has slowed down a lot of things. And, I, but wait for a second. I think she has a point. Because, for example, um, take, for example, an event like the Bermuda Fashion Week. People could get employed. Yes, there, there are a lot of people. We have close to 50 people that are working in the team. Yeah. And when, when, when we postpone the event, it means the money we're supposed to pay them after the event, everything too is postponed. So to some extent, uh, their jobs are postponed yeah. as well. So All right. yeah. Thank you. Melvin, yeah. you wanted to chip in something? Um, she was talking about goods. Something like that, her yes, goods. I just want employment. There yeah. are no people to buy their goods. I buy the talking about those entertainment goods. goods. Yes. Yeah, oh. because also with the strike and and all, musicians wouldn't be able to go for the show because they'll say, oh, Anglophone should boycott Anglophone artists like ourselves. You understand? And when Anglophone artists boycott or videos can be done, makeup artists can do stuff. Mm. Um, um, video, director. video directors can buy stuff. Yes. CDs are not bought. Mm. You know, there's a lot of things. So I get her point. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Hansel. I think I'll direct this question to you. It's this one thing. <laughs> it's Chris. I wish to say I think the principal cause of the crisis in our entertainment industries is dictatorship. For instance, some programs in RTM like IPP <laughs> is suspended for. That is where the truth comes out. Hansel. Okay, good. I think this touches the core essence of what I practice. Okay, is, yes, that's why I related yeah, it to you. Constructive mm -hmm. communication, mm -hmm. both uh, online and offline. Yeah. Now, with due respect to anyone's profession, I think there are some communication ethics we need to practice. Obviously. Uh, for example, um, the things we broadcast and say on national TV should be censored, not dictated. Censored for, for, for the sake that not everyone can handle, can handle some information. Uh, information or graphic content. Exactly. Uh, when there was a World Trade Center in the U.S., we didn't see them showing bodies lying around. Mm -hmm. When you see of, uh, 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 people being bombed and the rest, we don't see people lying around. There's a normal thing here. Yeah, but now if something happens, people will just go. And, and online media has given rise to citizen journalism. Now... Constructive communi communication is at the very essence of our of our communication practice. You you you, you most of you here are from the journalism mass communication and mass exactly. in the University of Boya. Mm -hmm. And and what they, they told us in masters in Nyaunda is don't show people what you think they want to see. Show people what is correct to see. But I understand that sometimes the issue of correctness can be political. Mm -hmm. Very, political. very, very <laughs> political. I understand, but at the same time, and this is a concern for us all who are trying to communicate these uh, uh, political messages on WhatsApp, on yeah. Facebook, and the rest. Let's try to practice as much as possible communication ethics. Let us not very mislead people. Mm -hmm. Let us not mislead people. For example, what Melby said, when they went to uh, do their show, yeah. you, you just can write on, on WhatsApp or on Facebook that I can not ask it and before as it should boycott that boycott show. Like you're killing a struggle. That's right. So you're, 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 you're indirectly saying social media is playing a great role to, to insta like spoil or spread uh, wrong information. Uh, the movement can be correct. 
but, but the actions yeah, during that movement can really cool that movement okay all right thank you so very much thank you chris thank you emily thank you rodriguez keep on sending us your text messages keep on participating in the real talk show through the numbers on your screens time waits for nobody gradually but slowly we are running over the program but not so soon because we still have lots for you okay uh, the question for the day remains in your own point of view how has the present political crisis in the country affected the entertainment industry and what do you think is the way forward if you're just joining us that's the question for today how in your own point of view how has the present political crisis in the country affected the entertainment industry and what do you think is the way forward all right let me come to you mr freeman your your part you're also part of the modeling industry right so how can you rate let me just ask a general question how can you rate the Cameroon entertainment industry based on modeling as compared to other countries yes how is the turnout you know okay mm -hmm. um, firstly I, I would like to say I'm I'm more uh, into the the, 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 the the fashion industry as a promoter okay. and and my work extends to all uh, factions of the entertainment industry okay. as a promoter okay. so for now I'm focusing on on fashion because it is one at a time so but my my personal analysis of the, of the fashion industry at the moment is honestly fashion has never been ha, has never been this um what word can i use hunter should i say <laughs> awesome or what uh, <laughs> over the over the roof over the roof. Let me borrow that. Over the top. So fashion now, when I look at the, the kind of openings and the kind of perspective people are having for, for fashion and I try to relay it with what had, had been happening say five, ten years ago, I would say um, fashion actors were literally just working themselves up and there were no channels for them to actually express valorize them. their art or actually express it but with now uh, um, at the present uh, moment you have a lot of interactions between our home fashion industry and the international industry many more uh, both, both Cameroonians in the diaspora and, and other international organizations are beginning to um, believe more in our home fashion and 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 they are like okay how can we work together so, to, yes. to to make this go uh, oh they, they, say, they say let's not talk about virus yeah. let's talk about higher <laughs> <so>. <laughs> <laughs> let's focus now on the music industry melby yeah how can you rate you know at times when i sit in nice places you mm -hmm. know kind of nice places yes. we get more of Niger, Niger is, my sister. Oh. Yes, we get more of the Niger content. So, is there any problem? What What's really itching in the Cameroon entertainment industry, particularly the music mm. industry, that mm. our Cameroonians now don't turn to like what they have and rather go for foreign products? No, I don't think. Hey, Mama Mia, you know if you've been talking so no. Cameroon, they like music. Like, seriously, if you leave Dirty South and you're coming up to Malingo, like several bars play our music. You understand? Now, anyway. But our DJs, I will say this. I mean, no man will threaten me online. Eh? Like, seriously, I get K9, K9 go bombard. Una. So, I'm, what I'm trying to say is our DJs aren't helping our cause. Let me explain. The DJ, you go to a bar. Let me take, for example, na, 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 na promotion. No, okay. no, no promotion. No. Okay. Dream Lounge, right? That was okay. the first time of me going to sit there. And Hansel, like, the, the only music where I hear, and there like two music, they may. I hear the Gala Le and Jamais Jamais. Like, are you serious? Those are not the only artists for that we Cameroon. have. For Cameroon, like, oh. seriously. With that kind of plenty people, there will be hate all money, yeah. You play <laughs> two songs from Cam of Cameroonians. Like, that's not all. Yeah. That's not all we have. So, there are the DJs that are doing more of this. My talk, Anglophone DJs. Because I've spoken with Francophone DJs, and they are for this cause. Like, they are really mad about it. They're like, um, why, are we, why do we keep playing? foreign music if you can play yemi alade or you can play chidema or you can play flavor and then you say oh melby you sound like you, you're just so like um like yemi alade then my sister just play my music now <laughs> just play my music the other time i was here on faces on cmtv and emil nguma was arguing me i was like when he, he watched wonder he was like oh this sounded like chidema i said uh -uh. but if you find past chidema then play i know why not just playing at the music? You understand where I'm coming from? Like, but what I feel is it's that competition that 
the dj or whoever is promoting foreign music is that competition that they have with the musicians you can't compete with the musician a musician is a public figure you can't want to be a journalist can't want to be like a musician a musician <coughs> can't try to be like a, um, a journalist you understand no, 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 so no, got DJs who are more popular than artists. i know right uh, yeah. hey you see a dj the post so at them name your own self as yeah. uh, uh, like seriously so for me i think that's where the problem is coming from okay we have to respect the fact that we have good music in camera like I'm not trying to brag, but I do good music. Obviously. No, no, you, you do, know, you do. Obviously. 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 Uh -huh. obviously. We're, we're not clapping you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she does, right? She does. See, I do good music. Mm. There's so many other artists. You have Ewube who does great music. I love her, by the way. And those are people who do good music, like good music. And if, if you want to say, oh, Ewube sounds like the reggae of uh, Jamaica and stuff, it's just play it. It's her style. Just play it. Even if you have complaints, everybody has complaints of things. But for me, just play the music. Play the music. The music, fine. Just play them. Okay. You understand what I talk? Understand yeah. you. <laughs> TV station, eh, Master Chi. <laughs> Master Chi, I beg you, eh. Play Blessing, plenty, plenty time. Play Puppets, plenty, plenty time. Play um, any Cameroonian music, plenty, plenty time. You no, understand? I, I, must right. I must commend yeah, same TV the Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Answer, let me bring you in this a little bit. When you um, you're small, I suppose, you're, you're, you're inspired by legends like Chris Rock. Bill Cosby, Ted Williams, Steve Harvey, <laughs> and Eddie Griffin. All of these are foreign comedians. Why? Why is that? Oh, okay. Is I, it that you not see any Cameroonian or? I saw the future. Okay. That is, uh, I, I was young with old. Okay. I saw the future. We have comedians now. We have um, senior pastor. Yeah, we have a lot. Of we them. have uh, Calvino. Yeah. Well, we have a boy. Mm -hmm. uh, just a few days ago, we we're balling. Yeah, we we're balling. I realized that. Uh, 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 they were playing Nigeria songs, so we stopped balling. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. Let's take some messages just reaching us. This one says, uh, hey, Mel B, Mel B, yes. Mel B, this is for you. Okay. Hey, CMCV, it's Audrey from Tico. Mel B, we have been hearing you sing about law for a man. I don't know. Is it that you can't sing something else? Hey, <laughs> all right, there's one thing, right? I've been singing about men and you. But I don't move Chakara, no. Seriously. I've even removed um, Blessing with Longe Longe. I think that was praising Almighty God in heaven that all of us worship. I've released Chakara, which is about all our struggle. And I think it really works well with the strike moments. Eh? People should go and listen to Chakara again. Like, Chakara is all about struggles. Like, you can't stop working because things are hard. Like, yeah. keep no, you working. Have to, you have we keep forward. going. Yeah, so, what's her name? Uh, Audrey. Audrey, hi from Tico. So I just want to tell you, I can sing all that stuff, but there is one thing that will let you know. When you're hustling, you have to have one point. Hansel is a comedian, but I'll tell you, he has a particular angle, angle that he follows. There's another artist who sings only about corruption. Valzero sings only about uh, the government. I personally Vigis about problems. Vigis about problems. Like <laughs> problem, they problem, they left, right, from back. People aren't paying something, somebody's stealing something or something, yeah. But I chose to do um, love, like, because love is the strongest thing, man. Like, we all agree. Uh, it's all about love, man. Right. If, oh, I want babe. To, if I want to, uh, <laughs> 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 all right, Mel, if I want to understand pretty well with Audrey, yes. I think since our main focus is how the present political yes. crisis has affected the industry, mm -hmm. she is maybe thinking you're not really wanting I'm to really dwell in on what the issue at stake is, and you're no. focusing on just yeah. about law yeah. for a man. But is that really necessary at this point about, in time? Yeah, Audrey, I haven't released any song about a man. I haven't. I don't I haven't. define myself. Hey, good that luck. was last year. Okay. The strike stand at yeah, which time? Uh, <laughs> not released. In November. <laughs> okay. So okay. since, Master. But I'm not released. Yeah, the last since. Around same time last year. La uh, no, it wasn't the same time. That uh, was like, okay, when was that March? February. Okay. You know, so, Audrey, I beg, pity me. No, 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 who are civil servants <laughs> ask your parents to quit their job that's right i hope the landlord understands when <laughs> comes knocking. we have a problem a yes do we need to lose our senses to solve them not in my opinion great show keep up respect to the panelists someone please get hand sales baby's cup i don't know <laughs> <laughs> He looks lonely. <laughs> <laughs> from Inda. Oh my God! I, 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 I really, I, I support her. 
okay that. yeah but one thing is that now so eh uh, oma one be hero you don't know this uh, even online Not oma true. one talk exactly yeah. 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 oma one be smart it, what, what social, what media, social media has become a free platform yeah. I, mean, I even made a statement. I almost felt embarrassed. I was like, "Am I trying to be a hero right now? Like oh. it's just sounding like I'm trying to be smart, mm. you know?" It, it, so, social media is giving an online an voice online, to the offline cover. Wow, that's it. Like I didn't right. know that's where we're going. I was just agreeing. Mr. Freeman says that was me. <laughs> for example, for example, I can't sit behind and insult the Bermuda Fashion Week that people are fighting. People are fighting, fighting and you're doing a fashion. But no. somebody, somebody did that too. I think Stanley and also you did it to, to me. Stanley and I saw that. I posted a picture. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, somebody that. did that to me, like yeah. serious insult. Like, maybe do you think that's important now? I said, putting on my sheets. Like, yeah. like that's what that's what you yeah, like doing. <laughs> uh, by the way, for, uh, to reiterate, the cop is on Ghost Town. So <laughs> my Wednesday. Is <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. The cop is on Ghost Town. All right, all right. Thank you. This one says, "Hello, good evening to you at the studios. I'm Stanley Adam from Bakuri Town. I think what the industry is facing is lack of confidence from our audience." Yeah. That we, the entertainers in Cameroon, can't do something good because of our first producers that started the entertainment. So, yeah. time. I think if film producers can make a difference and change that nation, that uh, that notion that the audience will love our work, that will help boost our markets and income will come in. That's for film. Uh, yeah. Yes, I. I think also. I, yes, I, film. I, film producers. At the end of the day, it applies to every fashion of the entertainment, the entertainment industry. industry because. Um, Honestly, I would not differ with him. Um, unfortunately, or I, I don't know how to put it, but the reputation the entertainment industry had for the past years was not um, as awesome as it was supposed to be. Really? Exactly. So, so we... You now it's better. So? No, now it's better. Okay. Because Let's we are all young and we're seeing our young people who are feeling like, oh, this is my age made and stuff. You know? Okay, what I'm trying to say here is, um, let me say, is it... Um, from the perspective of of um i know we did have some very awesome people very who, awesome. who who did yeah, good things but now i'm i'm looking at it from a, a, yes from an okay. overall awesome perspective people, but they never had the attention that that the new guys are having now I, awesome. what i think is these guys had attention um hansel Seriously, if you move around with longer, longer, right now, and anyway, that's my own example. Like, well, yeah, well, we're talking most of contemporary, contemporary, or, or even now. Be, besides contemporary. contemporary, contemporary this besides co contemporary, if we are looking at it from a more uh, general perspective, 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 perspective because yeah. one man cannot make an industry, five people cannot. Yeah. Yeah. There's so, PTP, there is um, Anians, where there's Grace Deca, there's Ben Deca, there is. Isaac those Deca guys and were Deca. Deca. If, we have, time, if we have to put all of those people compared to let's say our I, I hate to give this example but compared to our neighboring that industries I think I think we are suffering from what we call multiplicity of platforms mm -hmm. okay. that's, yes. that's it multiplicity exactly. of platforms because at, at that time we had just CRTV. Oh, CRTV. Ah, that's yeah. right. Yes. Also, I, you were also, compelled. I, I think yes. that's that's now it's really like yes. very popular. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Now yeah. we have um, Instagram. In Instagram, yeah. Facebook, yeah. Snapchat. Snapchat. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. So okay. now artists and promoters in particular have the biggest responsibility to mm. make sure every platform they are creating, because now um, the the bar has actually gone higher. Very high. high. Comparing ourselves to, I mean, the Western world and our fellow African countries, mm. it means that whatever thing a promoter wants to do now, you don't just have to do something, but you have to do something extraordinary, Extra, yeah. inspiring yourself from from what you see and relating it now to your context to make it new. Thank you so very much, Mr. Freeman. And this message says, I like the energy you are putting in the Cameroon entertainment industry. Mel B, I love your skin tone. In fact, everything about you, you're, you're super fun. I've changed, oh. baby. <laughs> <laughs> you're super Please fine. give me an name of Matt, I don't change your money. You're the entire. And, I, and I'm jealous. And Hansel is jealous. And, I, and I'm too. jealous. Yeah, you're jealous because of yeah. your <laughs> 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 And your many exes. Thank you so much, my dear. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. All okay. right. Okay. And um, before, let's take on a break. And when we come back, we'll kick start we'll round up sorry i just feel we should just start the program all over we'll round up <laughs> with the program at this juncture stay tuned Entertainment has gone beyond the borders of just playing music, movies, or programs. But it all involves getting the viewers involved in the program, directly or indirectly. Here on CMTV, we try our very best to take you right into the program. CMTV, 
Entertainment is never enough. We live in a world where everything has its price. No matter how costly the price of life may be. Someone, somewhere, somehow needs to pay. The question is who owes the price? And to whom it is to be paid? CMTV is not just there to pay the price. Of informing, educating, and entertaining you without bias or racial or tribal differences. But we are there to bring the TV to you at your disposal with one, two, three tones of hyper entertainment. And making you part of our TV. So join us every day in our jet of infotainment. Our cameras are everywhere. We are here of intimidation and generosity. And with our bodies of reporters ready to take it online without any iota of bias. With CMT, entertainment. It's never enough. Stay tuned to CMTV. Entertainment is never enough. Ladies and gentlemen, don't think of going viral, rather think of going high. I don't know why I've fallen in love so much with that. Hansa, I've fallen in love with your words and not with you, okay? <laughs> All right, this is The Real Talk Show. It's The Real Talk Show, an entertainment show on CMTV where we bring to you all the problems, the challenges plaguing the entertainment industry in Cameroon and the way forward. And we are linking this to the present political crisis that the country is facing at the moment and how it is affecting the Cameroon industry in one way or another. When we talk of the Cameroon industry, we don't talk only of music, we talk of comedy and so this year. We fashion. call it talk of fashion, a lot, lot and lot comprised of the Cameroon entertainment industry. All right, we are rounding up with this program. So send us just your last sweet text messages to spice up the program before we leave you for now, but not entirely, okay? Okay. Um, Mel B, so we're running up with the program. It's right. been an awesome time. But what can you say? I know there are artists, there are some people out there watching you now, mm -hmm. artists in particular. Yeah. What is the way forward bent on the fact that they are faced with this present political crisis? How do you think they can come out of this successfully and still yeah. sell everything goes on smoothly con with, with their music and their uh, uh, tracks? Okay, first of all, man, go far. Man, just talk this much in Korea. Me no man to see me they boycott Canada. Like seriously, I've been nominated. Don't bo don't boycott <laughs> Canada. I'm serious. Serious. Yeah. Don't no yeah. boycotting yeah. now, Hansel. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'll continue what I want to say. Guys, God is awesome. Yeah, so I'm saying I'm not going, I'm not preaching on anybody, but I'm just saying God is awesome. If you trust in that Namano. Yes. Yeah. If you trust in that man, trust me, everything in your life will be perfect. My life is perfect right now. I love my life. Though I sleep in the night and think about how much I'm going to spend on promotion. But I'll tell you, when you think about it and you pray to him, he'll give you the money. Okay. So this strike shouldn't stop anybody from doing anything they want to do. I released my song, Blessings, with Longer Longer. On the first, my dear, the next day was Ghost Town. No. Like serious problems. Like serious strike start. But the music is still going as fast as it can go. Why? Because you trust in God and you know that there is no obstacle on your way. Nothing can stop you if you believe. Fashion, comedy, journalism, nothing can stop you. So, there are so many people who write to me online, like FOC, and okay. tell me like, Oh Mel, my parents don't want me to do the music. music. Mm -hmm. I'm not telling anybody to boycott their parents, so don't go, don't go. Go against your parents. I say, Mel B, Mel B told yes, me that. don't go ghost downing on your parents. I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying. Your parents, it's a matter of just talking. I didn't have the chance to really talk with my parents and be like, Daddy, please understand me. I did a lot of writing. My parents don't believe in what I'm doing. I have K9 who believes in me. That's good for me because I'm telling you, in this life, God puts somebody on earth for you. You know, so you can have Master Chiu who is working with you and giving you all the, the love support, on earth, the exactly. support on earth. God, and I have really? Hansel, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so there's always somebody on earth placed on earth. It, it can be your father, it can be your mom, it can be your cousin, it can be your best friend. So please always believe in that. And music is not about money. Yo. Like seriously, people they find money, find money. So they go enter the Achumbo house. Yes, Achumbo. Nobody Achumbo, Achumbo house, uh, Kamla, okay, house. Nyongo. Nyongo house. Mm -hmm. like, Nyongo house. So, guys, please don't rush on that. Too. 
yes you need money to promote but if it doesn't come man chill pray and you move on you understand so many of you write to me oh my parents don't support me give them time meanwhile you're working you understand now There's my time mom for everything now my mom calls me oh, baby alpha how is everything is it going well one I'll time you, school, <laughs> right? you know so just believe in yourself keep working Open your eyes, shine your eye for the person where God don't put on earth for you. You okay. understand what I talk? Mm -hmm. Like, open your eyes. There's always somebody on earth for you. And that person for you is? God and that person that I put on earth. Mine is K9. Okay. My boss. My daily boss. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. We'll leave that for now. I'll tell we reserve our don't comments don't for me now. Like that, <laughs> and so, okay. Okay. What advice? And, and so, this is for you still relating the present political crisis in the country to the entertainment industry and how it has affected it. What is your advice to Cameroonians in general and the entertainment industry in particular at this point in time? My, my focus is on communication, not write what you cannot defend. Yes. Okay. Do not say what you cannot defend. Do not defend because people are going one way, you will you decide to, to go, go one the way. Other way. The other way. Good. Yeah. And do not just be a rebel for rebel sake. Okay. Yes. Um, what I'll try to advise people is to keep calm and to understand that for every problem there's a solution. Obviously. And sometimes that solution is just around us. Just around. Just around us. Around. And if you are trying to boycott entertainment because of a problem, you realize that sometimes entertainment solves your problem. Hunger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hunger. That is it. <laughs> so uh, telling me to boycott my show because I, I, I tried, I want the lawyers... Um, um, when on strike, I cut on my shoe and that was the worst week of my life. Yes, I, saw, I saw that episode you wrote it on social media. Yeah. And I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> I, won't, I won't advise you to. Nah, I'm not going to do that no, again. I, I'm going to use my comedy for the fight. Okay. That's, good. That's, good. That's good. That is it. That's good. Thank you very much, Hansel Ngwane and uh, Mr. Mbans from Bang Freeman. 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 <laughs> Freeman. <laughs> All right, so tell us briefly, maybe some people are just tuning in now, even though they'll still watch a rebroadcast, but tell us briefly, we're rounding up with the show, tell us briefly about the Bamin the Fashion Week and your take on this present political crisis in Cameroon and how and the way forward for the entertainment industry. Firstly, about the, the Fashion Week, um, like I said, it's a professional international platform. We have 15 designers from four African countries, and we have uh, 30 models. Okay. We have 30 models um, selected from all over Cameroon. It's going to be an awesome moment. Red carpet moments begin at 5.30. We have the event proper from 7.30. We have music performances within all of that, runway showcase, and amazing outfits. Um, you are all welcome. Please visit us at www.bamendafashionweek.com to know more about the event and you, you, you click uh, on, on tickets to order a, a ticket for yourself. Online? And, yeah, online. And also you can, you can get it from Jeffobi Bamenda or Imagine Bakery in Bamenda. Tickets are on sale. And um, with respect to the question, Hansel has said a lot that I think summarizes everything. Yes. But lastly... Those, those some crazy things involved. <laughs> <laughs> I know! But lastly, I want to say, um, even after this strike, um, the industry will still have to, to move on. Obviously. So I'm just encouraging every young person out there like me, take out time to invest in yourself All because right. um, everything you see outside comes from within. So if you're an awesome person inside, of course, you have yeah, a lot sure to give to your society yeah. and to those around you. Thank you. All right. Thank you so very much. Um, it's been an awesome time. But before, before time is ready on our side, mm -hmm. please, everyone, just pick a paper each. Your last questions before we leave. Thank you. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Open it and just answer. <laughs> That's what the real <laughs> talk show is all about. I'm buying my ticket online. Okay, let's start with you, Melby. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is the sweetest oh. thing you've ever eaten? Yes. Please be honest. Mm. Do you guys really want to know? <laughs> yeah, of course. And they are waiting. They are eating. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, please. Okay, Sorry. the sweetest thing oh, I've ever eaten. Gosh. Um. Yeah. Can I remember? May I be five seconds left? Um, Choco biscuit. Choco biscuit. Yeah. Okay. Choco biscuit. Mr. I guess. You guess? <laughs> You're not really sure about it. Okay, Mr. Freeman. No, I'm not going to answer. No, Mr. Freeman, you have to answer. Yes. 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 No, read your question. Okay, okay, read. Okay. Read all really your questions. Will you let me do Yes, yes. Have you ever parted in any public university ah. church? Yes, yes, yes or, or no? no? Please be honest. Be honest. After the first break, I smell something. <laughs> Mr. Prima, I'm waiting for you. 
answer, answer. Okay, that's it. All right, thank you for that. I'm sorry, finally over to you. Uh, what is that one thing you can never... You can never do without. Do without. Yes. I uh, can never do without God. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, All right. Okay. 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 Thank you so very much, handsome Gwene. Thank you so very much, Melbi Aquen, Bell Dam, Lebo. Thank you. And my cup. And your cup. Next time, next time, we want to steal your cup. Thank you so very much, uh, Mr. Freeman. Hope you all enjoyed the show, and thank you for giving our fans out the what they wanted to hear about the present political crisis and how it has affected the entertainment industry as well as the way forward that was the objective of today and we are glad that our fans out there participated and contributed into this program yeah. it's been a lovely it's been a lovely day and our wise saying for today remains when the power of love overcomes the power, the love of power the world will know peace yeah. when the power of love overcomes the love of power the world will know yeah. peace yeah. it's been an awesome time in your yeah. company yeah. tell you what last shout out Shout out to some people. Uh, Elgosta. Uh, Elgosta. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, a big, big shout out to uh, Handsome Media Team and everyone who's following the Handsome Show as, as well as Makonjo Media. Okay. Shout out to the Bamina Fashion Week team. Everybody putting their hands Okay, there'll be please just finalize it all. Shout out to K9. Shout out to K9, my amazing boss, my amazing and loving boss from the Italy. Shout out to my daily fans, my super daily fans. People that do strong. Thank you so much for thank you. Thank you, CNTV. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all so very much. It's been the real talk show on CMTV. And this comes up every Monday's live, the live edition every Monday is from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. And why not the rebroadcast every Fridays at 9.30 a.m. That's how we have seen it here at the Real Talk Show. Hope you guys had an amazing time. Thank you all for your contributions and participation in the course of the show. Till next time, I am Ikomi Christine Wella Eposi, mm -hmm, the girl with the longest name, yes. Thanks for your kind attention and stay tuned to CMTV for more programs. Don't go nowhere at this point. It's a child. Bye bye. Entertainment has gone beyond the borders of just playing music.